I want to make a change in the world. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? In five years, I'll be, my campaign, whatever mm-hmm. I'm trying to run is going to be started. It's going to be going. It's going to be my turn. Right? Yeah. Because I want to be, like, I feel like the where I got to where I'm at, how I got to where I'm at, I studied a lot of shit. It was people that came before me. Yeah. And they helped me be the person that I am. So I want to be, for everybody that's behind me, like young niggas, mm-hmm. niggas that's watching me now, it's niggas that was like, how I started looking at shit when I was like 13, 14. These niggas are 13, 14 now looking at yeah. me. I'm trying to show them niggas like, bro, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. And you can really do that shit for real. Mm-hmm. And you can build something off of it. And you can change your life and the people around you and other people's life and yeah. inspire people and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's crazy, man. I'm like really that. trying to do something for these folks for real. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Hakeem and you are watching our generation music. Shit. And today, today's the day. Actually, tonight is the night. You guys are finally about to get the Destroy Lonely interview. I, for the last six months of my life, have um, only heard one thing that was constant. Where the fuck is Destroy Lonely interview? Where is it? I feel like it, it got so crazy. Like I went to the store to get a green juice. Oh shit! Nigga, nigga tapped me on the shoulder. Nigga was like, "Hey, bro, where the fuck the Destroy Lonely interview at?" I'm like, "Bro, I don't even know. I don't know where it's at." The universe said it wasn't time to put it out. Not yet. yet. Not yet. It wasn't time. But we here now though. We're reshooting the Destroy Lonely interview. Y'all finally getting it now. Now I actually kind of liked them annoying me. I was like, "Damn, bro, y'all really want this shit, bro?" It was dope seeing him. Like, gotta make him wait. You know? What yeah, saying? man. So Got dope to. see him, man. But um, yeah, I'm here with Destroy Lonely. We're you know in LA. You see it. You see the Going vibes, crazy. rooftop, one of Destroy's favorite place. Why do you um you like LA so much? Like you talk I ain't about gonna that lie. a lot. It's like, see, like being from Atlanta, like mm-hmm. looking around in Atlanta and shit. Everything is like trees and shit. Yeah, it's all like bland and shit. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm shaking, they can probably see me shaking. It's cold <laughs> as fuck. It's, it's cold, cold out here. Hey, Destroy is sitting through the fucking cold for y'all. Like, what? But, like, nigga, like, so in Atlanta, there's just trees and shit. Uh-huh. Out here, like, it's, like, good. It's more open space, I feel like. And, yeah. like, personally, like, when I'm trying to think or I'm trying to do shit, I need physical space as well as mental space. So, yeah. like, to be able to see, like, everything, mountains and shit, like, from right here, you can see all the way the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just helping nigga think better, I, I feel like. And, 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 you know, yeah, think better in, in dreams. Just, like, it's so inspiring being in Hollywood and in L.A., man. Like, exactly. Like You feel so close to, it's you know like, what I'm saying, everything you want to work you know, work for. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You just said it. Yeah. I love L.A. There's a helicopter going by. That's one of the craziest things about L.A., though, because, like, you'll see, like, helicopters and they'll be flashing a light on a nigga. Exactly. Bro, these helicopter and chasing That should be, be so like, crazy. straight GTA shit. Not even to sound corny, like, Bro, straight GTA shit. Like, real talk, like. Bro, we, I, I slept through, um, like, I guess another crazy earthquake, like, a week what ago or fuck? some shit. It was, like, some crazy magnitude and shit. Niggas was calling me because I moved into a new spot. They're like, hey, bro, you felt that? I'm like, no, nigga, I was sleeping. Like, how the fuck? I you go on Twitter and, like, it's like, earthquake, earthquake, what the earthquake. Hell? Was it, like, it was a big one? It was a big earthquake. Everybody was losing their fucking mind. That's scary as fuck. I'm scared of natural disasters. What, what do you, um like, like uh what do you like to do out here besides going to the studio and stuff? Get high. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get high, shop. Nigga, I'd be sleep as hell. Fucking. I don't know, like, like I said, like, I like looking at shit. So, mm-hmm. like, I really, like, one day, like, me and my partners will wake up. I just go somewhere. I went to the desert the other day. I shot, like, a little movie out there. I'll wow. go somewhere, just look at shit. Sometimes I just go to the beach, smoke at the beach, mm-hmm. just look at the water and shit and think, I don't know, I'd be on some real, like, old man shit. You feel me? Like, hey, <laughs> it's nothing wrong with that, man. It, I know, just be chilling. Old man soul is a good thing, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a really good thing. So, um, you're from Atlanta. How old are you? Uh, 20. I just turned 20. You just turned 20, bro. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man. I turned 20 in July. I think when we was doing my first interview, when we was doing the first one, I was 19. Bro. You was 19? 20 now. Yeah. And that show was so lit, bro. Nigga, what? And I ain't gonna lie. See, we just did a show last night in LA, if y'all ain't know. That mm-hmm. shit was going crazy. From the one in Houston, and I think June, I think it was June to now, yeah. that shit done got crazy. As you like, can see the growth. That was so dope last quick, night like, seeing that. It was like, 
oh shit, now you're doing, you went from doing this 200 capacity venue now to four, selling out of 450, like. With more, like, more people though. With like, more people, like. Crazy, it's crazy bro. as fuck, bro. Like, it's crazy to see your guys' growth, like, you know, like. That shit it's, rapid, it's, like. It's, 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 it's amazing. You about to go on a crazy tour. The Narcissist tour is coming up. Shit about to be wicked. Mom, it's about to be so fun. I ain't never been on tour before, so, like. Your first tour is about to be with fucking Playboy Cardi. His at the height of his career. Shit's about to be crazy. Like that shit's about to be like a roller coaster, I feel like. Like but like going all the way up the whole time though. Yeah. Like just it's never gonna go down, but it's just gonna be a fun it's ride. It's crazy like, to see where it comes from, you know, like being Cardi's like coming from, you know, like SoundCloud and just that area and the evolution and now to the nigga like he's about to do the form here. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's a huge that's a huge like, thing. That's not like I ain't gonna lie. Like I fuck with shit like that though. Mm-hmm. Like I love being able to see a nigga like grow. Exactly. Like just because it's real, it's authentic. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. I love shit like that. No, nah, yeah. It's it's. I'm gonna be so. I'm gonna be in that mosh pit, bro. Nigga, what? The form show? I might be in the mosh pit. You got to. You gotta go in there, like nigga. Y'all in the form about to go turn up. Ugh. Put your shit out. I the might fuck? knock a nigga out. I I, you know what I've been loving recently seeing is niggas doing backflips in the mosh pit on trippy tour. I can't even do no backflip. I'm scared of doing a backflip. Like, I'm the type of nigga. Mm-hmm. I do everything. Then it's time to do a backflip. I turn around, be about to do it. And mm-hmm. everything in me out. is like, no. Don't oh, fucking do man. it. I feel like I'm too tall, probably. Like. I can do a backflip on a trampoline, which I'm probably sure everyone can, but I, I I'm going to claim no that. I can't do a backflip. I can't even. I can do a on a trampoline? Wait, Bro, I'm telling you. That's not a common thing? That's a common thing, but not for me, though. Like, okay. I go to, like, fucking, um, what's the little trampoline places with the... Bounce houses and shit, shit like that. Yeah, I go. They had a little pit, everything. They'll be like, "Why don't you backflip into the fucking foam?" Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, "Nigga, fuck <laughs> that." Like, I'm scared. My nigga don't even trust the foam. I don't trust shit. I, but I ain't gonna lie. I can't swim that well either. Mm-hmm. So like, you can't swim. I can't swim either. I ain't gonna. That shit sound. <laughs> I can't. Ignorant, I can't. Can I? I don't know. I can't swim. So like, I was probably like, I don't know. I don't want to say like eight, nine. I was uh, with my grandparents. We was uh, somewhere. We was in the water and my granddad put a life vest on me. Mm-hmm. And he was like, look, bro, all you got to do is just float. The life vest going to hold you up. Uh-huh. I don't trust the life vest. So, like, I'm in the water panicking. I feel like I'm drowning and shit. I started pulling my granddad down what and shit. Fuck? Like, that shit was too bad. Like, I just <laughs> I got a problem. me, nigga. <laughs> I can't trust that shit, bro. That shit is not. Bro, I, I ain't going to lie. My dad did the same thing to me in Jamaica. He threw me in. But it was salt. It was salt water we're in. Yeah, oh, he was in the ocean. Yeah, we was in the yeah. ocean in Jamaica and shit. Nigga, I, I thought my life was over. What like, the fuck? nigga, they, they, and it was like, after they was done, like, and shit, after it was all done, they was looking at me all, like, green as hell, like, nigga, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, I keep, oh, I don't get you, dog. I ain't gonna lie. Dog, a drone on us. It's just, you know, nigga, shit, like, to not be able to swim, it's just like, what the hell am I finna be in we, the water we, for? Like, yeah. <laughs> we as black people, though, need to, we need to end that stigma. That's what I'm we gotta do better. We gotta do better. Uh, um, with our reparations, I demand that all black people get swimming lessons. Free swimming lessons. Free swimming Straight lessons. Straight from the womb. Um, we need some land, some swimming lessons. And another thing I probably won't say on camera. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna take it there. We ain't gonna take it there. We'll just start off with those demands. Right, I mean. <laughs> um, so Destroy Lonely, super dope name. Um, Thank you. I wanna know how you, you know, you came about that, because that's such uh, the name is such an important thing. It's such a staple in a rapper's career, man. Like, yeah. How did you come about this name, Destroy Lonely? All right, so, like, everybody, well, I don't feel like everybody, but this is in my life. I had an era when I was in, like, high school mm-hmm. where I was, like, doing drugs and shit. So, like, I was on Xans, and I used to be geeked the fuck up. Yeah. I'd come to school 7 o'clock in the morning, popping Xanax, whatever, just geeked up. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck about nothing. I'm on the Xans. I'm geeking. But, like, I knew I was, like, wise enough, I guess, or just, like, I wanted better for myself. So mm-hmm. I knew, like, if I kept doing that shit, I would fuck myself up, like, in a way. Some corny shit, destroy myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, self-destruction. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, like, I'm going to just use that as my as the first part of my name. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be like, all right, destroy, whatever. Self-destruction. So, like, then from that, when I was in school, I kind of, like, really didn't like school. And I mm-hmm. felt like I felt like I was out of place. I wasn't fucking with school at all. So I told my grandma that, because I stayed with my grandma. Mm-hmm. And my grandma was fucking with it, so I went to online school. You know what I'm saying? When I went to online school, I was by myself. This was probably like when I was in online school. This was when I was in like middle school. Okay. 
So I went to sixth grade in public school, then I left public school, and I went to school on the computer. Mm -hmm. The whole time I'm in public school on the computer, though, I'm at the crib. I mean, online school, I'm at the crib by myself and shit. And it's like, it's just weird. And I'm like, I feel like, I feel like I'm alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I really ain't had no friends and shit. So I got lonely before the destroy, and then the destroy with the self destruction with the drugs and shit. So then destroy lonely. You know, you know that, what I'm saying? You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of like when I first heard uh, Kid Cudi's um, song Day and Night. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like Day and Night was probably one of the first songs I heard, and I was like, bro, I really like this song. And I like, really <laughs> relate to you, like mm -hmm. nigga. Like I would zone out to that shit in the headphones. I just hear that <laughs> Day and Night, the Lonely Stoners, yo, gang. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, gang. I ain't gonna lie. That might have, like, subconsciously, that's probably why my name is Lonely. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. I love that song so much. So good, bro. Dr. Genius and, and Cuddy went crazy, man. Kid Cuddy is a goat. So good. Man, what were, you, what were you, like, other things you were listening to? Like, what were you inspired by? Who who were artists you was fucking with growing up? So, like, it's crazy with me. I didn't even start listening to the type of music that I make yeah. until, like, later in my life. Like, I really, like, I was, like, my dad rap a little bit. I ain't, yeah. gonna, lie, I ain't gonna say a little bit. My dad rap. <laughs> yeah. We'll get you know to that in a second. <laughs> my, dad, my dad rap. So, like, with my dad being a rapper, I was really into, like, real hip-hop and shit. Yeah. So, when I was younger, he had me on, like, I was listening to, like, Wayne, mm -hmm. all, like, uh, 2 chains, like, Titty Boy, shit like that, yeah. like, real rap shit. And then uh, when I started listening to music by myself and shit, Eminem, too. I fought with Eminem. Marshall. You know what I'm saying? And when I started listening right? to music. Is it the rap god thing? <laughs> or rap devil? One of them? I'm when playing. I was doing <laughs> shit, uh, when I was finding music like on YouTube and shit, yeah. I uh, started finding like Tyler the Creator, Earl Sweatshirt, um, people like that. I future really turned me up with your rap shit. Like when I first started rapping, I was yeah, making like yeah. boom bap, like crazy, like <laughs> hip hop rap. Like uh -huh. old, old nigga My rap. Nigga said, yo, yo, yo. You know what I'm saying? I had the portal <laughs> water with the sugar what in it. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> Just like real cornball shit, I feel like. No, I think no, that no, shit no, no, corny. no, no, no. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We I, can't. <laughs> I think we can't. Shit corny. But like, <laughs> fucking Joey badass and shit, you know what I'm saying? All that type of rap shit. And then from there, like, I started listening to like Future yeah. and Thug and shit, you know what I'm saying? But I was real inspired Monster by like mode. real rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you, you know, speaking on your dad, your dad is rapper um, I-20. Mm-hmm. Was affiliated with uh, Ludacris. My pot's crazy. He's also on the legendary Ludacris song, Move Bitch. Get out the way. He got a crazy verse on. You know what's dope about that, too? Like, when I heard, like, Re went back and listened to that song, because, you know, I've heard it all my fucking life and yeah. didn't really think about it like that. But now that knowing you and, you know, linking to your voice and you as an artist, like, you guys both have very distinctive voice. Hey, you know what's crazy? It's crazy as fuck that you say that, cause like I've been listening to like the new music I've been making, uh huh, and especially like getting older and hearing my voice change and shit. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I kind of sound like my dad. I was like, like fuck, <laughs> I was in the I way. almost like, sound oh. like my dad, bro. Like, you, but that's facts though. That's facts. For you sure, don't, sure. you don't really you almost sound like him. you can still tell you guys apart. But it's, it's different, like, but it's like like you said, it's, it's a real distinct like voice. it's a voice that's real like serious. That, that's like, what I think. The thing like I I noticed, you know, the most about you was like. Oh, you like I know Destroy Lonely songs coming out. Like, yo, straight I hear, from the voice. Straight like, from the voice. I'm like, oh yeah, this is this sound like Destroy. Like, you know, that's fire though. I appreciate and it. And I, lo I love that. That's like one of the things I love um, and I look for in like artists. It's like, it's like, yo, can I tell like you different from some other? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you can sound like a nick, like you rap like a nigga, same beats, whatever. But I feel like you get away with it or like whatever it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have that distinct voice, like I fuck with D 42 Doug got a really distinctive voice. Wait. Crazy. Wayne. Drake, um, young boy, young boy for shit. Sure. Young boy got a, a crazy, um, distinctive voice. Like, like oh, I, I know, like, yo, that's him. Oh god, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I really think it's dope. Like, I love hearing. Uh, fuck, who else? Uh, uh, you Nudie, bro, Nudie. Nudie. I ain't gonna lie, we ain't gonna talk about Nudie. I think one of my favorite albums. I ain't gonna say of all time. I ain't gonna put it in an order. I ain't gonna put it in a list. Uh huh. But Nudie Land. Is like probably one of the greatest albums to ever, ever be made. What a time! Wait, bro, I was just moved to LA. Like, bro, no, 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 it was like a year after I moved to LA. I got a little lit, you know what I'm saying? I was on No Jumper and shit. We was all on Melrose. Wait, Hell Shell, Hell bro, Shell. Like, you got Hell Shell. You got um, I think Cancer Stick. No pressure, bro. I gotta go through this track. Man. Like, I can't forget something. Like, I just can't because that shit is Nudie so, Land, man. It's so legendary, bro. Like. Wait. Hey, yo, like, you could pass me that hoodie. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Yep. Bro, 
loaded baked potato, barbecue. Literally. <sighs> Ferris wheel. Bro, Melrose was so fun at that time. Like, everybody was there. Like, I ain't gonna lie. When that shit came out, I don't even think I've been to L.A. yet. You ain't been to L.A. yet? Mm -mm. It was 2017. Yeah, so nah. it was like a year into me being here, like... Like everybody was still on the block every day. You could see Pump, you could see Smoke Perv, you could see, you could catch Uzi, you could catch Cardi, you could catch everybody on Melrose, like really chilling. Like, that's crazy. It was such a fun time, bro. Like, no, it was, bro, and Zans was fucking that's what prominent. I'm I didn't know. Hey, look, though, don't do drugs, though. Don't do drugs, though. But Zans was the thing. That was it. That was <laughs> life at the time for a lot of people was just Zans and Young Nudie and. Who else was about to Yachty? Yachty was going crazy Bro, at that time, too. That's a goat. Man, a good time, man. A lot of nostalgia. Um, okay, so being, sorry, being that, um, you know, you're coming from a musical family and everything, how do how you feel like that has prepared you for, like, your own career and just rap in general? It's like, um, I was, like, real inspired, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like. When I was younger, I got to see, like, a lot of the shit that my pops was doing. Mm -hmm. I'm in, like, some of his music videos, like, as a baby. So I yeah. was, like, seeing you music were, videos you were in your shit. Like, Ludacris videos or his videos? Both. Like, so, like, I was in music videos and shit. I'm seeing a whole bunch of crazy shit. Uh -huh. My mom, she's singing shit. You know what I'm saying? When I was, like, um, real, real young, they had me playing instruments. I could play the piano, the you trumpet, play piano? the violin. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, like... Like, I don't know. It was just Fire. a whole bunch of, like, it was just music shit. Like, you know what I'm All saying? All around you. He was bred for this, I was, man. You know what I mean? I'm like, I just really love music. I didn't really like nothing else. Like, yeah. And it was, like, sports. Everything, like, was cool. But it was, like, I was, like, kind of just good at everything. Yeah. But when I started making music or I was doing something with music, it was like, nigga, I'm hard at this shit. So I fuck with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. No, you know what's dope about that, too? That, you know, like, a lot of times when you see people come from someone that, you know, might have been on music or be successful or have a dad somewhere or something like it's really hard for them to grow out their shadows or whatever it is mm -hmm. or they be corny and lame as hell like i don't get that vibe from you at all like you couldn't even tell like you can't even really tell like i ain't gonna lie is that you think because it's like i feel like me personally it don't got nothing to do with my pops it don't got nothing to do with nobody i like to like really do shit my damn self. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, I don't want to be put on. I don't want no handout. Yeah. I don't want to be like, yeah, I think it's on my dad. Like, I'm I'm his son. Fuck with me. Bro, or like, them niggas are the worst type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Or like, y'all know my partner yeah, or son. whatever. Like, ever since I was young as hell, even when I started making music, when I met my, my bros and shit, like, I'm like, this is my shit. Yeah. I'm starting this shit. I'm doing it for me. This is my name. Mm -hmm. I, I act like I act like I wouldn't even know a nigga. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I don't know nobody. I did this shit by my damn self. You know nah, what I'm saying? Like, bro, like it's crazy because like you really don't have that. It's like you could just feel that on some people. They'll just approach you like, yeah, you know my dad is and that. I'm like, nigga, you know what, what do you do, nigga? Like, what what have you done? What have you done? Like you put some fucking work in, nigga. Like Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be like, bro, what's wrong with y'all, bro? Like Y'all be weird. I'm like, you think I care? Like, you know what's crazy? The older you get, you just start realizing shit. Like, I don't care. That's why I be realizing about certain shit. I be like, nigga, I don't give I a fuck. I think that's what it is. You guys like how I do it? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just Simple. don't give a fuck. I don't bro. give a fuck, bro. Like, I genuinely at the point I, I don't care. <laughs> like, at all. Nigga, we working, nigga. <laughs> like, you feel me? That's it. Um, okay, so Nisus. Mm-hmm. Destroy, uh, Nisus destroyed the project. That's my dog, too. I ain't gonna How lie. did you meet Nisus? How'd y'all, you know, what, what's That's the story my on you brothers. and Nisus? I ain't gonna lie. Twin, like, so the way I met him is crazy. Yeah. It's like, he was in Atlanta mm -hmm. already, the same way I was already in Atlanta doing shit. Yeah. Like, before I even knew him, we used to, like, do shows. I'm still shaking. I'm sorry. Y'all could probably see that I'm shaking. I'm just cold as the fuck, bro. <laughs> but it's like, we used to do shows and, like, he was with um like his fam, Slan Cito, uh -huh. Big Small Chapa, everything Guala Free Guala, you know what I'm saying? He was with them. They be performing. Uh -huh. I was me. I'd be performing. This way back then, I'm like doing shows in the city, like real real underground shit, like yeah, 14 yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? They doing that. They they throw a cookout and I happen to pull up. I didn't even know Nisus at the time. I just mm -hmm. pull up, I'm talking to like Cito and shit, and I'm just by myself. I was with some of my bros. The next day, I followed Nisus on Twitter because I seen him. Mm -hmm. He's talking about he changing schools. He's talking about he going to the school that I go to. Uh, so okay. I DM him. I'm like, bro, 
we pull up to the school, I can show you around, whatever. I knew everybody, like, because, like, I was kind of quiet, but, like, I just watched everything. I'm real, like, yeah. I pay attention. So it was, like, everybody knew me. I could put people down on shit. I was smart. So, like, mm-hmm. I knew everybody. I was showing them around. And when you come to the school, the day he came, me and Cam skipped. My boy Cam, he right there. I mm-hmm. think he over there. I can't even fucking yeah. see. I, I think I seen him come over here, though. But, like, we skipped. We went to go print these shirts. The same merch that we make it to this day, we was making when we was in school. So we skipped that day to go make the fucking shirts. And yeah. we didn't see Mises at all until after school. When I skipped, I used to come home and get on the bus because mm-hmm. my grandma didn't know I was skipping school. So I used to cap like I was at school all too. day, then come back to school yeah. and get on the bus and oh, act like, a you know what I'm saying? <laughs> come on, bro. Got to get the job done, though. Oh, God. So, you know what I'm saying? I come back home. When I'm in the bus land, though, I see me, he's like, nigga, I'm finna go home. I'm like, nigga, what bus you ride? Because I knew where the buses go. It turned yeah. out he rode the bus. They take they go to the neighborhood right across the street from me. So he lives right across the street from me. That day, I go home. I go to his house. When I pull up, he got studio equipment and shit and everything. So, so that was the first that day, time y'all recorded? The very first day. The day I met him, I go to his house, I see he got the shit. Because, like, I was already trying to make music, but I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have nothing. Yeah. Niggas got all that shit. I pull up, he having it. I'm like, bro, he was making a song with one of his friends. I'm like, let me rap. <laughs> like, nigga, you don't rap. I'm like, bro, I fucking rap, bro. Yeah, like, nigga. we made a song, and it was probably, like, the hardest song niggas made, like, back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever since then, me and me and, him was and, locked and in. did that... Needs uh destroy tape come from that? Or? Yeah, literally. Like so, like from that day, he was working on a little tape, mm-hmm. and I hopped on that shit. And then ever since that day, we started making songs for that. And then one night, me and him did Adderall, and like up off the Maddie. What made the whole tape in one night? Put that shit out. Mm-hmm. I really love that project because it's just like it's like a um it's a starting point. It's man. a starting point. It's a step in time. Like yeah. I really love that shit so much. Those are the pure memories. We man. got kicked out of school about a music video on that project. We dropped the music video. Y'all had some sticks or some shit. Sticks. <laughs> we we was federal in that bitch game. <laughs> Nigga, the principal seen that shit. We well, never man. go to that school again. That's it. Like <laughs> some niggas said, uh no. Hell yeah, no. get that kid destroy lonely and needs the us. fuck out of here. Like, get, the, get them out of here. Tell them to come to my office first. That you shit probably was try hell. to buy weed off you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this, today's day, it's crazy. Like, you know, like you can't get in shit for weed. Like, it's so stupid, bro. I got in so much trouble in high school for smoking weed and shit. It kind of like turned me off from smoking weed. I ain't gonna lie. One time I got in trouble at school for smelling like weed. I came to school smelling like weed. These niggas searched my bag and shit. They found a lighter and thought they said they called it a weapon. Your lighter? Yes. Technically, at school, a lighter is a weapon. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You got science class, all that kind of shit. I need this for something. Nah. Come on, bro. You talking about a weapon. I got to do something with this. I don't know what I got to do with this, but I need it for something. You know what I'm saying? They be like, I got a light, miss. I just got to. I had a crazy art teacher. Bro, what? shit like that. I ain't going to lie. I had a piano teacher. Uh Uh-huh. That was my favorite teacher, though. He passed me because he knew I was going to be hard at making music. Oh, I ain't lie. His name was Mr. Burns. Shout out Mr. Burns. This and you was, you was playing the piano in his class Yeah, shit? yeah. On game. But I didn't have to go to the class because, like I said, he knew I was making music. So my school had a studio in it. The studio class was right next to the piano class. He let me skip the piano class yeah. to go in the studio and record. And he'll just give me an A in the piano class. Nigga, turn me up. Oh, okay. Nah, that's hard. Nigga, you know how to play the violin. That's some, Bro. like... That's some like different shit. I've never heard a rapper say they know how to play the violin. You might be the first. I ain't even gonna flex it though, cause like that was like that was years ago. I ain't gonna lie. If I pick a violin right now, I could probably like play a song. But like just even to be able to do that, I, I well, don't that, know. That's gonna help you in the long run because now you can like you know collaborate with a producer on your that, you know your project. Come on, click up. Like oh okay, but so y'all making beats together and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm the reason. Like not the reason, cause Clayco is the fucking the mastermind mm-hmm. but like when like the samples come in and shit me and clayco do that together you know what i'm uh, saying like okay bad bad she's crazy that's good though like i like I, I like artists that are more in tune with you know the production side or the artists that are trying to at least you know like at least understand to just fully get that vision out you know because like i don't know like especially like with the album i'm working on right now yeah i am so cold bro like but like <laughs> i'm trying to take that shit like beyond like Audio wise, like yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I was really like listening to a lot of um like recently like old Kanye projects and shit. And yeah. like with like um my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Yeah. And like all that shit, like the beats and the, the production and is the like music is crazy. That's one of my favorite albums, bro. Hold on. <laughs> you that cold? Bro, it's good. You know what we're gonna do? You're gonna come sit over here and I'm gonna come sit on this side. <laughs> 
That shit's crazy. Switch seats in the middle of the interview. It's definitely warmer over here though. Like I ain't gonna lie. I, listen, man. Anything to get the destroy lonely interview going. Let's go. Come on. So yeah, no, my beautiful dark Joseph. Damn, nigga, it is cold. What the? That's fuck? what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, hold on, man. <laughs> hey, this shit cold as fuck. No, you <laughs> not lying. Fuck. <laughs> Why this shit cold like bro, that? Bro, hey, this is probably the funniest shit ever, bro. <laughs> hey, y'all are getting the liveest, raw shit right now, man. Fuck. It's cold hey, as a bitch. All right, man. Here, 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 here. You got to still be yeah, nice set over there. But, um, um, yeah. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. One of my favorite albums to this day, man. Legendary. Fuck. But see, the wind, eh, yeah. But it happens. But, all right, moving on. Um, when I, all right, like, I want to talk about your, you know, your music and how you, you know, choosing your beats. Like, it's so, like, it's very raw and rugged, and it's just, like, it, it just has this, like, uh, how would say, um, what's the word? All right, um, sinis is it sinister, yeah. definitely sinister. See, okay, yeah, sinister, it's sinister very, as very fuck. sinister. Like, it just feels like you just like you just want to go like this, like, because oh, it's like, like, I ain't gonna lie, I channel that on purpose. You channel that energy, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, when I'm making songs at the house, yeah, sometimes I still record myself, like, literally, like, on the computer. Like this, the mic right here. I'm yeah. going crazy. So like, I turn all the lights off in my room, and I'm like, do you know what I'm saying? Indeed, like, but do you have the colored light though? Nah, Just I'm going darkness? straight darkness, nigga. I sit in my room. I'm gonna tell y'all something. See, niggas think destroy lonely. Oh, he's so cool. He's so fly. He whatever. Uh -huh. I sit in my room in the fucking dark, nigga, and I just think like I'm talking about like you think like I was a. If I'm at the crib, like, folks in the crib, you don't see me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. in the room, like, and it's pitch black, windows closed. I be my cat, like, just fucking. Wait, is your cat black, too? Yes, of Yo, course. This nigga I got a black cat, and her name is Ultra, and I love her so much. Yo, I can never see so much. this. Bro, I'll show you a picture of my cat. Hey, that's like, that's like, hey, if I can't hear the nigga how I knocked on the door, be like, turn the light on, like, what the fuck this Hold nigga doing in here? Take me out. And, it, like, I'm trying to play guitar right now, so like. You trying to play the guitar? Yeah, I just be like in my room, like practicing like the guitar and shit. That's so hard. Look, bro. this is a funny ass picture of my cat. Yo, <laughs> that look, bro. I don't know if y'all can see cat, this. Bro. This is my cat, though. Bro, this, this nigga cat look like exactly what I thought his cat would look like. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog. That's Where my cat, but, but that's cat? my dog. How did you I adopted it? Oh, you did? Hell yeah. I got that How shit for free. It? Adopt them cats and adopt them dogs. All right? I'm trying to say, I got I got a black cat and a black dog. I got you a do? black dog. His name what is Zeus. It's a um black Labrador German Shepherd mix. Oh, he a little okay. retarded though. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I don't want to say the R word, but he kind of crazy. Yeah, he a crazy dog. That's all. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So how did you um? How do you go about picking your beats? Let's get back on the you know creatively. Cause like when I heard Dover Street Market first come on, oh my god, it kind of threw me off. Cause I'm hearing everything and it's yeah. just like, but I hear, da, 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 da. I'm like, wait, this not, I'm like, this thing on some heavy shit. And then it just like, nah, that shit goes straight into the other shit. Ugh. So it's like, you heard like the piano in there and shit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, when I'm picking a beat, one, I rap on like, I personally feel like I don't know if it's the truth. I can't even tell you because like my flows are so crazy. I feel like. But I rap on like the hi hats of the beat, so I'm gonna start there. Like, oh, if I'm okay. hearing a beat, I really like I listen to like the I don't really listen to the sounds, mm -hmm. but like the tempo kind of. Yeah. Or like, you know how you can listen to a song or a beat and it's like it puts you in a mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to like, like how Dover Street Market, the ambience of it, it like it feels like you're in a dark place or yeah, something, yeah, but yeah. you like. Doing the piano some, is just, it's low. It's, you know what it's I'm saying? Filtered, like. I like picking shit that feel like that because like it's like a comfortable place for me to like make music like yeah. mentally. So you know what I'm saying? I like those type of beats. When I picked over Street Market, it's like I really like the um how you said it go like doo, 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 the piano on that it, shit. It's a sample from this video game called Get Your Impact. Uh, it's like it's, I don't know if we should say this right now. On camera. I can't. Well, I can't say it's a sample. What's wrong with that? You cleared that sample. Bro, 
Fuck that. <laughs> it's a sample, bro. That's I'm like just trying to save it's the creative process. You feel me? It's a sample from a video game. Okay, it's just um I don't play the game, yeah. but it's like this little game and like Clayco picked the beat. Uh, mm-hmm. it's like um the music that plays in the soundtrack is real peaceful. Mm-hmm. I like real um. Final Fantasy, Genshin uh-huh. Impact, all that shit has like Japanese game. games. They got crazy, crazy. fucking. But they be having, the, they're the you know what I'm saying? Clear samples so, though. Fuck that. He pulled, <laughs> he pulled the fucking piano sample from that shit, and he threw the drums on that shit. Yeah. And that shit, I was like, oh yeah, let's do it. You let's know what I'm saying? So you you are full time. You're recording yourself. Do you like going in the studio with an engineer? Yeah, nah, I go to the studio too. Okay. I really, but I just started going to the studio. Like when I made Broken Heart, that's mm-hmm. probably the first time I started going to the studio. And I've been going to the studio and recording myself on and off since then. Okay, a little right. Oh wait, wait, before we get into Broken Heart and get into that, did you? I remember in the last wait. Did you fall in the pool at Two Chain's house? Ludicrous house. But that was Ludicrous when I was house. young as hell. I huh? was young as fuck. He like, fell in the pool at Ludicrous house. I almost house. drowned. Because <laughs> I couldn't swim. I almost drowned at yes, Ludicrous like, house. Back to the swimming, man. I felt like that was something crazy to just Bro, yes, out. nigga. I almost fucking drowned at Ludicrous house when I was young as hell. Because I can't fuck swim. crazy. That's crazy. So did you see two chains and shit? Like, Bro, I seen all the niggas when I was growing up. But it's dude. like... Do they know that you rap and stuff now? Yeah, like, my pops told me the other day that he was on the phone with two chains. And he was like... uh. Bro, I swear I seen your youngest son on Instagram or something, like, rapping or some shit. So, uh-huh. like, maybe he's peeing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really... I don't, yeah. <laughs> you know I what I'm saying? It. I feel like, it. I feel it. It's kind of crazy, though, man, to see stuff like that, man. Facts. For them, at least. Like, oh, wow, this thing is actually doing... Like- exactly. I think it's cool for my dad, too. He love it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I, I just, like... Like I was telling you, like, I had to do something, you feel me? And I found something that I'm really good at doing, love, so... Yeah. I can tell, mm-hmm. man. It's it's genuine and, and it's pure for you. It's what you're meant to do. Exactly. Um, okay, so Broken Hearts, the project. Like, what? Um, first, first of all, I was completely confused. Why didn't you just? I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> you know what you I'm talking about saying? the title. <laughs> the title. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, is that like a constant thing? Does people get confused on the name of it? Or? Yeah. Nobody knows. I go live. <sighs> this is your first time telling the world if it's called Broken yeah. Hearts? Yeah. Uh, nobody like, cause like. And I only call it that to simplify it. Mm-hmm. And I ain't even saying that on no deep shit. I didn't want it to have like it symbols just cause like that's it's just broken heart. Like I didn't yeah. want it like you're not really supposed to like since it doesn't have a title, you feel me? It's just the symbols. At first we was joking and calling that bitch like divided by three, just some <laughs> stupid shit, cause it's just a slash and the uh-huh. three. And like we felt like broken heart it was like everybody gonna call it broken heart. But yeah. obviously niggas are kinda slow because niggas didn't get that it's just I was like, fuck, what the fuck this is? I don't wanna say it, say it. It's broken thing. heart, bro. It's just a broken heart. Okay, but it's so just it's the symbols. Like I said, it ain't really nothing to it ain't nothing to say. It ain't nothing deep. I ain't had nothing to say. You just gotta <laughs> hear the music, you feel me? It's that hard. Uh-huh. So I'm like, nigga, I ain't finna title this shit. I finna get it. Whatever I say. You know what I'm saying? Fucking symbols on this Hit the bitch, Disney man. Channel. Next thing you know, it's going to be a Disney exactly. Channel. Exactly. <laughs> and I ain't going to lie. I'm going to fuck around and I ain't even going to say that. So, okay. <laughs> the, what What is the most, the most of what the fans want to know right now about you is how did you meet Cardi? How did you and Playboy Cardi meet? Uh, I dropped um, my album, the Broken Heart album, last October. Mm-hmm. From October to uh, December, that bitch was out. Probably like the end of December, I was just smoking weed one day. His man's uh, Jay, he hit me up, he DM'd me, and he was like, you hard. Cause I had the Oh Yeah video, um, the snippet of it on my Instagram. Yeah. Oh Yeah, it's so I crazy. Know. I ain't gonna lie, here's some funny yeah, shit, some joke head. shit. Bro, this is, is the funniest shit, it, bro. If I ever had to laugh at myself, bro, uh-huh. nigga, I got my alarm clock, right? Bro, uh, my alarm from when I wake up mm-hmm. is, oh, yeah. So, like, when I turn it on, it's, uh, I got money, I hide out of bed. Yeah. Like, that shit's so crazy. That shit ain't gonna play, but it's the fucking, oh, yeah, so when I wake so, up, that shit's that, so that's crazy, your bro. Alarm? That's your alarm? Yeah, so, like, that's Jay, um, he seen the video, the snippet on my page. He did mm-hmm. me, he was like, you hard. And I was like, appreciate that game. So then, uh, like, a few weeks later, mm-hmm. he just hit me again, and he was like, uh, Cardi fuck with you. I'm like, that's crazy. Y'all niggas like call me or whatever. So Cardi called you or he called you? Called me. Uh, Jalen called me. And, uh, niggas just hit me up. Then bro was like, he fucked with me or whatever. Locked in ever since then. You went to the studio with him and started working? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We went to the studio, went up. I was just, it was like, um, it was just real genuine energy. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I fuck with bro is I fuck with bro, so it's like to have like to have the energy reciprocated, yeah, I guess, yeah. and for it to feel like how it real. feel like real. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I fuck with this. You know so what I'm saying? So were you around for the whole lot of red when he was making that? Nah, but it's crazy. Right after Red dropped, I met bro. I listened to Red. Mm hmm I listened to Red. Like I was listening to Red. Yeah. And then the niggas hit me up. The niggas was like, oh <laughs> that's yeah. Crazy, bro. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. That helicopter is wild, bro. They trying to find a nigga. Bro, LA is crazy. But but yeah, that's just that shit why none though. Like, it's just love. That's crazy, man. Like what what did he ever tell you like what he thought, you know, like what drove him to liking you to even, you know, having you be a part of opium, you know? Like, did you guys ever have those type of conversations or Yeah, I talked to uh, I talked to bro all the time about shit like that. It's like we um I don't know how to put it. He sees something in me like he just see how my mind works, you know what I'm saying? He think I'm an innovator, like he think yeah. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like and it's like he think I'm fly. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> it's cool and it's like cause we are bro. Y'all all fly. Can we are like so is it like I said, it's just yeah. love. That's yeah. just, that's my brother. It, you know it, what it I'm makes saying? sense. It feels like what you guys have is like um you guys are building like this really dope community of, you know, like minded people. Uh, this damn lighter is so <laughs> but you got lighter uh, like-minded people and shit um and and it feels like nothing is forced with you guys it's all love. exactly it's like i feel like you guys because a lot of rap there'd be a lot of rap entourage that don't hang out with each other exactly i feel like you niggas <clears throat> could do all types of shit y'all could go go to the fucking dover street market mm -hmm. y'all could go fucking um you know sleep in some coffins too <laughs> Niggas do whatever, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Playing, I'm just joking. It's gang, like. It's gang, though. It's gang. But nah, um, nah, man. I, um, what was I going to say? It was really do a dope moment to see for you, though, too. Because, you know, after you know we did the interview and everything, see you in the Sky video. Mm -hmm. Like, what was that like? Like, how man. did you, you know, get about getting the video? Like, what's the story behind that? That video was fun as fuck. That's all I could say. Really? That video was fun as fuck. Like that's it. Like I was in. You like, was there, damn, bro. The video was funny. Niggas as fucked that fucking grocery store. Exactly. <laughs> like that shit was like, bro. Like it wasn't no like that shit's real. It's no effects. It's no nothing. They just mm -hmm. went in the grocery store. Nigga said, "Go." Fuck all this Push shit. Up. Like let's go. <laughs> fuck it. Like that bro, shit was that epic. song is so hard, bro. Man, you know I told my boy go roll like ten months for me. Yeah, come on, dude. When that shit first came on, I was like, "Holy fuck, bro!" It's a hit. And then that nigga said, like, "Wake up." It's the first of the it's month. The first of the month. He's straight. He's straight every first of the month. I bet you, if I could do the math or like I was behind the numbers and shit, mm -hmm. I bet you the streams go up every first of the month. Yeah, Hell yeah. That's I ain't crazy. no mathematician, nigga, but I know that. No cap. <laughs> That shit great. Bro, um, how many songs uh, you and Cardi got? Did you guys get to work? Work on some music and everything or no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Shit. And that's it, you know what I mean? It's going up, though. Y'all gonna hear it eventually, you feel me? That's it's, gonna be hard, man. I'm it's like, It's like, bro, y'all gonna hear all this shit. And it's gonna be amazing. Man, the narcissists are coming, bro. Mm -hmm. They're coming. Um, another one, you know, the homie, and you know, you guys, another opium member, Ken Carson, my brother, the the the, the young goat, um, the song casket. How did that come about? Like, how did you, you know, how did you guys link? Did you guys, we got link up to, you know, record that song? That shit hard as fuck, man. Like, you know, all right, casket was like. Casket was another real genuine vibe. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, when we made Casket, we was in the studio. We was in the studio with bro. Yeah. Um, was in there kicking it, just chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Just talking. Then I think he left, and it was me and Ken in the studio yeah. with Fritz. Ken had a hard ass beat. Hot on that beat, put a verse on it, played it. I'm like, oh yeah. Hot on that beat, put a verse on it, it, played it. We like, oh yeah. yeah. This then is we it right here. That beat, you know what I'm saying? Wait, you guys dropped it or it leaked? Or? We dropped it. However, yeah, <laughs> however it came out. You know what I'm I go like. Man, seeing you guys perform together last night. Bro, that was such a crazy show, bro. 
Like, I really enjoyed that. Like, that was a dope moment, bro. That that's what I'm saying. That too. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like, I did shows with Ken um a few months ago in the yeah. summer. Those shows were epic. I always love when me and Ken perform together. So to have him come to my shit and just show love and like really perform and like just go crazy, that shit was like real, bro. Like that shit was fire, bro. Bro, fuck with that. Hearing that live, man. Fucking caskets, bro. Bro, even the shit he did, rock and roll, like yeah, man. oh man, yeah, rock and roll man. is fire. I got to see him perform. Um, well, I've seen him perform a bunch of times, but that's another thing too with who, too with him. Like every time I see him perform, like it just gets better and better. Like mm -hmm. he gets better, and just like the reaction get better. You just see the growth. I love seeing all the growth from all you guys. It's 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 honestly insane, and it's really dope to see. I appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys um, perform Casket though on this tour. Bro, wait, like, I ain't gonna lie, Casket. We gonna perform a lot of shit, bro. Like, <laughs> so you you and Ken recorded a whole bunch of more music, right? I just was still with Ken yesterday. Like, me and Ken, we do that. You know what I mean? So, this is gonna be lit. Like, y'all gonna like I said, y'all gonna hear a lot of music, bro. Like, it's gonna mm -hmm. be amazing. It's gonna be beautiful. That's dope. I know you're into fashion, and everything. Like, um, yeah, yeah. What are you like? Some of your fashion goals? Like, do you want to walk some runways or like, what do you want to do? Uh, You're, uh, well, you have the brand too, so what yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I want to do everything. Like, I feel like I could walk. I want to walk. Uh, I for sure want to walk. I want to model. It's a couple brands I want to model. Yeah. I want to um. When I feel like, cause I like to give myself time with shit. When I feel like I've reached a place where I could fully create to my fullest potential, mm -hmm. I want to be able to build my own like um. Uh, my own world within fashion, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I want to have a real brand, like, more than, like, T-shirts or just, like, little things. Like, I want to be able to, like, like, the same way, like, niggas say, like, this design is, like, I'm wearing, like, I got on a Dior Prada kind of shit, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I want to be able to have my own version of that or do it just as big, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just as, like, yay with a Yeezy or, like, mm -hmm. anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want niggas to be able to buy my shit and eat it up, you know what I'm saying? I really want to, like I said, build a world, like, yeah. do this shit with my brand. Just with anything, even if it's like me putting my hand in something, like creative directing a brand or whatever, I just want to be able to like show people like my spin on shit. Yeah, that you can do all that too. Mm -hmm. No, that's going to be dope. That's going to be really dope to see the evolution of even Seriously. just taking that whole other lane. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you already like, you know what I'm saying? You already got it. Now it's just like, now it's like, yo, I'm going to create that product and really, you know what I'm exactly. leave that mark. Because like it's about product. Like, it's about product, bro. That's all it is. We can have a whole conversation about why it's about product, but it's about product, bro. In the simplest form, that's that's just what it is. I already know you understand mm -hmm. all that. Um, so, the project, No Stylist, I'm sure there. Is it still going to be called No Stylist? Hey, yeah. The fuck? What do you like, What do you What do you want to accomplish with this? Like, what are some of your goals with No Stylist? Truly. Truly, because this is like something I've been working on for a long time. No Stylist means a lot to me. Yeah. It's like. I just want to, I don't, I don't feel like I got a point to prove. Yeah. But I want to be able to break away from however niggas feel about me and show people that I can actually, I could create like yeah. some real shit. Like, cause I'm on those stylists. I'm trying to make, I don't want to say the most different shit. I don't mm -hmm. want to be like the most different nigga. I'm trying to go left field, but I want to make something that's different from what's being created right now yeah. in my own way, just to show niggas like. I'm like that, you know what I'm saying? I can make real music. I can make, I can make, I anything. just do anything else. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Something else. I just want to show niggas I can do the other shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, nah, really yeah. Show. I'm excited to hear that. We got it when we go to the studio or whatever. Some point this week. I got you, week, bro. I you got to play me this shit. Shit show. Is there um? You got like a dream feature or collaboration you want to get? Future. 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 Cause you did the, the real sister song too. Bro, future. <laughs> that would be crazy if you got Future to hop on the Real Sister remix. Bro, fuck that. Me and Future gonna make some. Some crazy shit? Fuck the hinges, bro. That's gonna be fire as hell. What's like um your one of your holy grail, grail pieces right now that you finally got? You always wanted. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie. I got a piece right now that I'm trying to get that I don't have. So, like, I buy a lot of clothes. You right feel like now? you spend most of your money on clothes? No, I spend most of my money on weed, unfortunately. <laughs> I knew you did. But, I, I fucking knew it. <laughs> literally. But definitely clothes, then uh -huh. video games. But um, Video games? You play a lot of video games? Nigga, hell yeah. 
What bro. you be playing? What you a PS5 or an Xbox? I Xbox had a PS5. Nigga? I had a PS5 the day that bitch came out. Oh yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. I got Not a PS5. I just bought a PSP. I ain't, oh, <laughs> are my nigga Walter? Bro. I ain't gonna lie. Was it is it a loaded one with all the games? I hacked it myself, gang. I swear to God. Lit. Like, and that shit was ahead of its time, bro. Bro, that shit was ahead of its fucking time. I bought a PSP in 2021, and I'm over here like, yo, this shit too crazy. Like, Fuck, like, man. Like, what? What the games PSP. are you playing? What games you went back to? I went back to, um, let me remember, uh, we did Midnight Club. Oh, uh, Dub Edition? Uh, yes, Midnight Club, Dub Edition. Um, hold on. Damn, my brain freezing. It's a Final Fantasy on that bitch called uh, Dissidia. It's like a fighting game. Mm -hmm. It's some Mortal Kombat on that bitch that's crazy. Uh, Tomb Raider. Crazy. Fucking, what about um, the Simpsons Hit and Run? Have you ever played Bro, that? yes. I bought that game when I was a young nigga. I had the, uh, Love that game. the UMD for that bitch, but it broke. And it Fuck, fucked up my man. whole life. I'm about to buy a GameCube. Right. I got the Switch, bro, but I'm gonna get a GameCube. I never had a GameCube in my life. Bro, the GameCube's amazing. I might have to get that. I gotta get the GameCube. Well, I gotta I had get a one. PS2, and I lost that bitch. Man, yeah. I had a. I ain't even know. <laughs> With video games, bro, I love them so much, but they always break my heart. Like when I got my PS5, my PS5 done broke three times on me. Really? Yes. Wait, so how did you fix it? Or you just have to buy new ones? You can send it back to Sony and they'll fix it. Uh, but like my shit done broke like three is it, times. It, is it like a long wait, though? Nah, well, yeah. It should take about a month. But I, I fuck with it. I do it every time. I need my shit back. When did you first get into, like, you know, clothes and everything? But I got into fashion when I was 14. Uh -huh. But I was always into fashion before I could, like, buy the clothes that I liked. Yeah. And then once I got to a point where I could buy the clothes that I liked, like, probably a few years ago, it really, like, even expanded my mind even more. Because it's a difference between, like, seeing something, like, probably on the internet or, like, mm -hmm. in a magazine or something to think you have an idea for something than, like, really seeing it in real life and physically and, like, being able to just, like, yeah. think about that shit. You know what no, I'm saying? No, 100%. I was just like that, bro. There's so much. It's like my mental mind in my pockets. When exactly. that motherfucker hit together. Then you're going crazy, you feel me? Over for you niggas, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull out, like, him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was some Atlanta shit, bro. <laughs> hey, crazy, who know you got the key, Kiwi Bottega with the Kiwi Strawberry? Who you know? The Kiwi Bottega, <laughs> bro. Oh, don't start. Bro, oh, that nigga is so the funny, bro. The Kiwi Bottega, the, um, the Salmon Bottega. Bro, we ain't even gonna start with that. We ain't even gonna start with them. <laughs> what, what's crazy. your favorite, what are your favorite brand right now? Right now, I'm really into uh, Andy Miller Mister. I just like, uh, it's Andy like, Mister. they got some crazy blacks and shit. It's yeah. real goth like. It's real I like goth like. I'll fuck with it. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. You know what? That reminds me of the song. And Rocky. Celine too. Sorry to cut you Celine? off. Celine. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Hedy's there. Hedy Slimane's there. Exactly. Yep. I fuck with God, it. God, I love Hedy Slimane, man. Mm -hmm. I have the Do Two uh, Saint Laurent wax. Yeah. Bro, he his jeans, bro. Crispy. Bro, he changed like. Probably. Man. I like. I don't know. I like the denim. I don't know. Like. I ain't gonna act like I'm like the most educated, so I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I feel like Saint Laurent makes like the best denim, but I like it. It's I love Saint, I love Saint my Laurent favorite. Jeans. That's my favorite. You Hedy, know what I'm saying? Hetty Snap, man. He brought that like that that punk uh, rock goth vibe, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying to high. That's what I fuck with. Like I really like Saint Laurent and Celine and shit, cause like I could like when I look at it, I like looking at the runways and like the mm -hmm. models and shit for they um they look books and shit. I look at it, I'm like this is like a version of me. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really like how these clothes look like and fit on here mm -hmm. everything. Are you excited to go to Paris and go ca catch some fashion shows yeah, finally? Yeah. Are you going to eat that escargot shit? Bro, I be eating everything. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I'm one of them niggas, bro. I love, like, I love everything. So, like, I don't be knocking shit until I try it. I, I eat that. sushi. I eat I some. Sushi. I, I ain't going to lie. I eat, like, I eat some crazy shit. Where? Mm -hmm. You eat an alligator? Yeah, I've eaten alligator before. Nigga, what? It's, that's just, like, some southern shit. Though. Oh, that's yeah, like some yeah, you from shit. south. You know what I'm saying? That shit's right, Does it really though. taste like chicken? Definitely tastes like chicken. That's exactly what I said when I ate it. It tastes like chicken for sure. Fuck. It's it's really good though. It I just is. had alligator like probably like two weeks ago. I like I really like salmon though. I know that's a normal Bro, shit, but salmon I like salmon. Is... No, Man. no, you know what's really busting? <laughs> JJ's in Atlanta. Bro, JJ's is fucking crazy. I just told you you gotta get the flounder. You talking about the catfish? That's I like, gotta get the flounder. I asked that's the bitch at the James. counter what the fuck was popular. She said get the catfish. Flounder not popular though. Oh, that's my spill. You feel me? Okay, that's your spill. But that shit hard though. Oh, I fuck with it. okay, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Nah, shot, man, you know gotta get that. Get where, okay, so like, where does Destroy Lonely like see himself in five years? Like, five that's years? always a hard, hard question for people. What in I'm general. I'm twenty now. Twenty five. Yeah. Reach your hell. I ain't gonna lie, but like, not ignorant rich though. Like, really, like, 
really, I want to make a change in the world. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? In five years, I'll be, my campaign, mm-hmm. whatever I'm trying to run is going to be started. It's going to be going. It's going to be my turn. Right? Yeah. Because I want to be, like, I feel like the where I got to where I'm at, how I got to where I'm at, I studied a lot of shit. It was people that came before me. Yeah. And they helped me be the person that I am. So I want to be, for everybody that's behind me, like young niggas, mm-hmm. niggas that's watching me now, it's niggas that was like how I started looking at shit when I was like 13, 14. These niggas is 13, 14 now looking at yeah. me. Yeah. I'm trying to show them niggas like, bro, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do and you can really do that shit for real. Mm-hmm. And you can build something off of it and you can change your life and the people around you and other people's life and yeah. inspire people and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy, man. I'm like really that. trying to do something for these folks for real like, that's amazing man nah that's, that's that's a that's always a uh that's always a hard um you know question to answer you know in general we're, we're people we don't know yeah, where we're gonna fact. be in five years but we can always lie. just you know plan and get on that motherfucker and, and try to get there get them grinders up and then blinders up mm-hmm. what do you feel like um no no what do you feel like uh actually me what, what's the best advice cardi ever giving you you know because he's been in this shit for a long fucking time now yeah like, it's like, it's gonna sound simple, but it's like the same advice you get everybody else. Like, when you're doing whatever you're doing, be you with it. Like, really do that True shit to, to 100% of yourself. Like, really be you, show yourself, like, through it. And that's really how you're gonna get it done. Like, you know what I'm saying? You really gotta be yourself in this shit. As, as like, like, it's like I said, everybody say that. So it's like, be yourself. But it's yeah. like, nigga, be yourself and you're gonna get it done. That's it's, all I ever did. Like, Doesn't it feel good now to find it's official? My boy is a official opium. It's just it feel good to like, like that feels good. But you know what I'm saying? It feel good to just I don't know. I've been working for a long time, yeah. so it's like to be able to see my work come back to me mm-hmm. in ways that I can never imagine is just a beautiful thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I love it. One hundred percent. Well, all right, we do this to you know close it out and everything. What's your message for our generation? I want our generation to stay fly. Keep fucking your hoe. Keep getting your money, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Turn up. <Yeah. laughs> be so Put that shit on. Don't ever take it off. With you know the Kiwi Bottega. Always All keep that. always keep the Kiwi Bottega. Keep strawberry. You did? 100%. 100,000%. Man. And keep smoking it dope. I'm going to fight it back up. Yo, up. it's crazy because <laughs> you could tell, like, you got, you went from getting really cold in this to really high. <laughs> now I'm geeked up. I'm warm. I now got he the video geeked, on. He warm I had to cover. Geek. Hold on. I was fly. I hope y'all seen the fit at the beginning of this shit. You know the, you know what's crazy though? This still look good though. Like This heart? Yeah. All right, for you sure. got that shit off, my man. Say that. Don't play with him. In you know the comments, saying? don't play with him. You Say got that. that shit off. Say that. That hat crazy. Thank you. That shit look like it was made for you. It was. I caught it proud of it. I was like, yeah, I need the hat for the Yeah, one on one. Yeah, man. Well, yo. Bro, they're gonna enjoy this. They've been harassing us for fucking six months. I love all y'all so much. I love you and I love Artem. Hey man, <laughs> I appreciate you so much, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you, gang. Now it's time to go have some sh- yeah, sushi. <laughs> it's cold.